Hey marketers and business owners, welcome back. Today we're gonna to talk about how to create negative keyword lists in Google Ads. So if you're running Google Ads for your business, this is helpful so you can learn how to save money and stop wasting money on bad clicks. Uh, if you haven't yet, make sure to hit that like, share, and subscribe button. Definitely subscribe if you're a marketer or a business owner and you want to learn more about digital marketing, SEO, Google Ads, and all the things we talk about to help grow your business and have more success with online marketing. My name is Mac Frederick, founder of Momentum Digital. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave them below. Do turn on that bell for post notifications. We like to talk a lot about digital marketing and how to grow businesses. So without further ado, let's jump into how to create a negative keyword list in Google Ads. What you're going to want to do, log in, you can start at the overview page, which is probably the first page you'll see when you get into the account. In keywords on the left hand column, this is where you're going to find your negative keyword list. So if you go to keywords, then negative keywords, you can create a new list or add keywords to an existing list. And if you add these keywords to a negative keyword list or campaign or an ad group, then these keywords won't trigger your ad to show up because these are bad keywords. We don't want to use them because it's not related to our products or services. You can see I already have lists here. It's really just one list that I created called all negatives that I add to any location campaign. So what you can do is create a new list. You can call this all negatives, you know, new or whatever you want to call it. And for a lot of businesses, you don't want to show up for things like free or how to or competitors names like Orkin would be a competitor. Um, Varmint Guard, I think is one of their competitors. Jobs, Apply, um, Videos. All those things are like more exploratory, jobs, free. A lot of bullshit you don't want. And you can save that. So it's gonna create a new list where you can add those keywords to a list that you already have by clicking into that list and adding some of those keywords. Free, Jobs, Apply. Orkin, Bill, Pay, et cetera, et cetera. It'll add it to this list. Now, what I like to do with weekly, op weekly, monthly, daily optimizations, what I'd suggest is go out of here, go back, and we wanna find out keywords, what keywords we're showing up for that we don't want to be showing up for because it's bad business, bad clicks, bad keywords. So what we're gonna do is go to campaigns and we're gonna find these bad keywords and add them to the all negatives list. So from campaigns, scroll down to keywords on the left-hand side, we're gonna to go to search keywords, I'm sorry, search terms. These are terms that people are searching, like terms and phrases and keywords, people are searching that your ads are showing up for. So for this pest control business, it's showing the campaign and the ad group and like what that search is, you know, how much it's costing you, how many impressions, how many clicks you're getting. And I like to do it for all time, that way you get like a lot of information and data to use um, to find out like how much you're spending over time for these bad keywords. So absolute pest control, that's probably a competitor. We don't want that. A lot of how-to stuff, those might not be good keywords. I'm gonna save that for now. Lorain County, Aptive, Repellent, Patent. So they haven't done a lot of research digging through these. Um, animal control Lorraine, that's probably fine. Competitors, you probably don't want that for now. If you do, you want it in its own campaign. Armadillo holes, how to get rid of raccoons, that might be okay. Nuisance, animal removal, that's fine. Atlas pest control, that's a competitor. How to get rid of armadillos. Michigan wildlife solutions, I don't think so. Be green pest control, hmm. I don't think that's them. Catch a critter, no. Prestige, a lot of competitor terms, a lot of research terms, a lot of stuff they don't want to be showing up for. So you can choose all these and then you know we'll come back through this and do this in more detail for them. Um, but what you want to do is you want to choose a lot of these bad keywords, like a lot of competitors, a lot of keywords you don't want to be showing up for over time. And you're going to want to go up here and add as a negative keyword. And then you can add it to an ad group, campaign, or negative keyword list. We're going to add it to an all negatives keyword list. And then there's keywords I recognize from this. And you can save it as a new list if you want. 
but we're gonna save it to the all negative keyword list because in each campaign, we are using negative keywords. So it's using these lists in all the campaigns. Now, what I also wanna talk about is going to these negative keyword lists and after reviewing all those bad search terms, what did we find? We found Orkin, we found how to, we found active, we found absolute, a bunch of competitors. Um, what else did we find? Holes, repellent, trap, B, bills, catch. Uh, what else? Greenix, Hanson, add all your competitors here. We don't want to be showing up for them. Uh, Atlas, Lorraine. These are just like broad keywords we're adding now. Guard. Uh, what else? Island, Lucas. What else? Patton, Orkin, Neo. Add all your negative keywords. Application, videos. Save that to the master negative keyword list so you'll never show for any searches related to do with those keyword terms. And since this is in the all negatives list, it's gonna apply it to these campaigns below, so all your campaigns. Um, if you have any questions, comment below, any concerns. I know this was like kind of a shorter video. I hope this was helpful. This is for how to add negative keyword um, based on creating a keyword list and using negative uh, or search terms from the reports and creating and updating these lists. I hope this was helpful. If so, hit that like button, just smash the hell out of it and comment if you have any questions, tag a friend and share this on social. My name is Mac with Momentum. And uh, keep hustling, keep making money. If you need any of help, any of our help, give us a call. All of our contact information is in the description of the video. Stay tuned for future episodes and make sure to subscribe. See you next time.